Me and David still here. Me and David still here. Uh, yeah, y'all still here. If you're not here, raise your hand. Yeah. If you're not here, raise your hand. I don't know what they're doing back there in the back. We're gonna we're gonna do a couple of things here, and we will let you guys take that cold. Uh, you know, it's good. It's good to feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, I I I, I felt like that tonight was a good night. This is the last night of the year. We still got about hour and a half to go and uh, you know I'm I thought in the year 2012 I was very disappointed whenever we had our service that night because I thought for sure that the Lord was coming back in 2012 and I began to watch the clock <clears throat> as it began to break down I thought Lord I just knew you would come back this year I just knew you would. Tonight I'm I'm kind of anxious. I keep watching the clock. You know we could hear the trumpet sound. Amen. Any moment. That's right. Any moment we could hear the trumpet of the Lord sound, and we could be out of here. Wouldn't it be something if all of a sudden we was looking at each other? in the presence of the Lord. Amen. That would be great. All right, you people in the back, come on up here. <laughs> We're going to try to get this thing cranked up. All right, Brother Mike, go ahead. I'd rather be in a deep, dark grave Good is gold or silver too. If your heart's not pure and true, oh, sinner, hear me when I say, you fall down on your knees and pray. I'd rather be in a deep, dark grave. And I live in this world in a house of gold And I love my God and lose my soul I'd rather be in a deep dark grave I heard Brother Mike's testimony. Listen up. Yeah, they... Well, you know, God gave me the talent to play any instrument that I want to play. 
And I was raised in the Pentecostal church and knew the right way. But I traveled out into the world and I started playing in the bars and the honky tonks and just living any old kind of way I wanted to and making big money, thought I had it made. But June the 28th of 2008, I was riding my Harley Davidson motorcycle and I hit a pickup truck head on. Broke 32 bones, lost my left leg, got a steel plate in my head. You know, when God gets ready for you, He'll put you on your back. He'll get your attention. He broke my arm all, my arm was broke all up, and I thought my music career was over. But you know, sometimes the old man has to die out before the new man can start living. Amen. And I made God a promise. I said, Lord, if you'll give me my music back, I won't never do that no more. This is my testimony. Now and then, some of my old friends I've not seen in some time. Stop by and ask me where I've been, what's on my mind. They wonder why I'm not drinking anymore, or how painting the old town grave. I tell them I'm serving Jesus now. Hallelujah. I still rest in my clothes. I've got the same clothes.
the brave man that you Who knows man in his day that old man around right up here is the place to get rid of it. Yeah. I encourage you to do it tonight. Don't wait till it's too late. Lord says it's too late now. I don't know you. Get rid of that old man. walk again too, didn't you? Get rid of that old man. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know Brother Brian Emma will be coming back here just in a moment. But I got a good brother. Kenny, I want him to come up here and deliver his soul. Just stay in here with us. God's going to bless the end of life. Amen. He's still coming around. Amen. He's still coming around. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <coughs> praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. On New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. instead of being in a place where there's millions at tonight, yep. you know I've heard it say a time or two here tonight how that uh, uh, I wasn't once always a Christian. That wasn't the words they said, but that's what they meant. They're saying that they went to other places, honky tonks. Amen. You see, I wasn't no better than that. It, either one of them. I was just as mean and honorary as anybody. <laughs> Until the Lord got a hold of it. You know, as I was growing up, I heard somebody say a while ago that their grandma took them to, drug them to church. Yeah. I had nobody to drag me to church. I lived this just any way I wanted to. Went and, went and came when I wanted to. Yeah. I'd done what I wanted to. Yeah. Except one night, Someone asked me to go with them to a revival. Uh -huh. I went. Changed my life. Amen. Amen. And now instead of wanting to go to the bars and the honky tonks and drink and, and sing yeah. those kind of music, I found somebody else yeah. that was more important. I found another way. As someone said, "Paul, go up there high." Let me tell you, there's no greater high than Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm so thankful that one day that I went to visit him, and he he said, "Come to me." Yes. All that's weak and heavy laden. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. I'll take every burden you got. Amen. Well, let me tell you, everyone that's still got their burdens. Let me tell you, I know a man that will take every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. His name is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, and I was, I, was, I, was, I was sitting back there a while ago thinking, what are you going to say, you know, and I, and I still don't have no idea. <laughs> but I, I, I got a couple of scriptures that, I, that came to my mind. We'll get to them in a minute. But, you know, we, we was talking to a preacher not too long ago, and you know, and, and what, I just told you how, how bad of a life that I lived. And the Lord come and touched me and blessed me. Took, took all of those things that I like to do away. And he, he was telling me, he said, I didn't do any of those things. I never drunk, never, never, never did any of those things. And I, I looked at him and I said, to, Brother... It took just as much of Jesus Christ's blood to save right. you as did me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. When we get the blood of Jesus applied, yeah. it washes away the sin. Yeah. Yeah. To God. Right. And I'm glad of that. And, and uh, I think it's Mark chapter 12. Hallelujah. It tells uh, Jesus, give them two, two commandments. The first one was, he said, love your Lord, your God with all your heart and mind, soul and strength. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the second one is kind of like that one. Uh -huh. Love your neighbor. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, glory to God. You know, he came. I, I, I don't believe he done away with the law. He just fulfilled the law. I mean, he gave them them two scriptures right there. Those two commandments. And those two commandments will take care of all the law. Amen. Amen. Well, glory to God. Amen. Amen. If we love the Lord, our God, with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, 
then we won't have no other idols before us. That's right. We won't have no other gods before us. Hallelujah. We'll, we'll, we'll do away with all those gods we had before. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we love our labor the way that we should, uh -huh. we won't have no enemies, will we? That's right. We won't do nobody no wrong. That's right. So that takes care of all the Ten Commandments as far as I'm concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And that's just the way the Lord Jesus is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It, when, he, when you hear His call, if you just make it to that call, yes. take your burdens to Him yes. and give them to Him. Amen. Everything will be all right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, uh, also, I was thinking also uh, in, in Luke chapter 22, where the, the, the Lord, uh, you know, He was in the, uh, there in the upper room and taking the Lord, you know, having the Last Supper with His disciples. Uh, and uh, if we read that, we'll find out the disciples' brother uh, was kind of uh, 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 contending against herself. Uh, what they was doing, they was uh, saying, who's going to be the greatest in your kingdom? Lord, I want to be uh -huh. the greatest. Uh, and you know what the Lord did? He just got him a, pot, a pitcher of water, put his towel around him. He said, come here, I want to wash your feet. Yes. He gave him a lesson yeah. in humbleness. Yes. Come on, brother. He said, you got to be humble. Yes. You can't be contending like this. Yes. You on, see, there's yeah. contention in churches. Yeah. There's always right. a strife going on. Yes. But he don't want it that to happen. You know, and if it happened there with the Lord Jesus with His closest yeah. disciples yeah. in the yeah. upper room there when they was having their last feast together, it'll happen in a church. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. But if we'll just only humble ourselves, yeah, as he showed them, he said, I want to wash your feet. Oh, Peter, I guess the, one, the strongest one of them. He said, you ain't going to wash my feet, Lord. He said, if I don't wash your feet, you ain't going to have no part with me in my kingdom. He, oh, Peter, he, 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 he's always getting in trouble, but you know, he, he, he knew how to get out of trouble. Hallelujah. He said, Lord, I'm a feet, but my head also. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, that's what we need today. We need to say, Lord, not just my feet, but glorify me all over. Wash me all over. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And you know, uh, the same chapter going on and reading there, it, it says uh, there where Peter, you know, he was, uh, he was thinking he was uh, uh, something great. And the Lord was telling them how he's going to be crucified and, and how he's going to be uh, uh, killed and in and, and three days he'd be raised up again and, and, and how that he, they was going to come and, and he's going to have to suffer. Oh, Peter said, Lord, I'll go with you. Yeah. I'll go with you, Lord. Uh -huh. I, even to prison and to death, I'll go with you. Yeah. Yeah. Peter thought he was strong. Yeah. He thought he was a strong man. How many of us today think that we're strong? I mean, until we come face to the face like Peter did, the Lord looked at him and said, Peter, you'll deny me three times before the gospel. Thank you, brother. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Oh, Peter thought he was a strong man. He could he could do what he wanted to. Nothing was going to come to him. But he told Peter, he said, I'll pray for you, Peter, because Lord, the Satan wants to sift you. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to sift you like wheat. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Let me tell you, he not only wants to sift Peter, he wants to sift every one of you if Amen. you're born again Christian. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And be careful, he will. That's right. He, he got old Peter. <laughs> He denied him three times. You know, and I, I, I kind of like to tell this. I told it in church the other day. And you know, uh, uh, as Peter was there warming himself along the, the fire they had built there, and, and they was uh, putting Jesus on trial, and, 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 Peter, uh, and Peter denied him, uh, knowing who he was, to this little girl said, that's, that's one of them right there. He said, no, it ain't. And you know, in the cock crow, and I can just, the Bible said that Jesus looked around at him. Yeah. I can just imagine that to myself. That look. You ever got that look? You ever done something and got that look? Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, every time we do something we're not supposed to do, I believe God gives us that look. Yeah. Hallelujah. Every time we turn the TV on and see us, uh, something on there that shouldn't be, uh, uh, we should be looking at, I believe the 
God gives us that look. Yes, He does. Yes. Yeah, he does. Come on, brother. You Come remember on, when you children, when you was a children, and, and you're doing something wrong, and how and, 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 and your parents look at you, on, straighten you right up. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah! Straighten yeah. you right up. Just took one look. Yeah. Hallelujah! Let me tell you today, if we'll only look at Jesus Christ yeah. when we're doing something wrong, yeah. and we get that look, and He yeah. gives us. A, let me tell you, we'll be like old Peter. Peter went out and cried. Hallelujah! Let me tell you with crying to God. Oh Lord, just save me. And I won't do this anymore. Just not look from the parents. If you got kids uh, and if you train them right, it'll only take one look. They don't know, they don't know what's right. About. You don't have to say a word to them, just just that one look. <laughs> well, glory to God. I love the Jesus. I love Jesus tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I don't care if he does look at me. I want him to. Amen. I want him to, uh, to chastise me every time yeah. I do something wrong. Every time yeah. I get out of step, uh, I don't even I'm doing something I ain't supposed to do. I want him to look, give me the look. I mean, I don't want him. I don't want to turn him away so many times that he can look at me and I'll get the, my conscience seared over and I'll yeah, know what on. he's doing. There you go. So many today is doing that, brother. So many today is doing that. This gets the conscience seared over and they can't see what they're doing. That's right. Their eyes get blinded yes. spiritually yes. and can't see the things. Praise God. Praise God. I love the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. And, and if my brother, come up here and play me. Two. Mike. Yeah, you. <laughs> I sang one to you today. Hallelujah. I won't hold you very long, but I'll, I'll try to sing one for you. Yeah. If that's all right. Yeah. yeah. You better blame it. Oh, well, yeah. glory to God. He paid a debt. He did not owe. He paid my own. No other. No other. <laughs> You know, Jesus paid a debt. He didn't owe it. I owed a debt and I could not pay it. But he paid it for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He paid a debt. He did not owe. I owed a debt. I could not pay. I needed someone. Wash my sins away, and now I sing a brand new song. A brand new song, amazing grace. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. He paid the debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. A brand new song, amazing grace. Christ Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. One day He's coming back for me to live with Him eternally. Won't it be glory to see Him on that day? I 
Y'all come on up, sing it three or five. Huh? Oh, so we're gonna get him. Yeah. He's a little afraid you miss him. Hey, what we're going to do? We're going to pass the offering plate. Oh, boy. Wasn't that chili good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, these guys come here with, for a free for little offering. And I don't want to see them leave here tonight with uh, just a little bit in their pocket. I, if y'all don't care, please dig down a little bit and put it into the offering. It would be highly appreciated. And uh, Jonathan, if you don't care real quick, pass the offering and the plate. And I'll have some place to okay. Yeah, let him hit you. Yeah, I asked him to go ahead, brother. William, you ask for that. Our gracious heavenly, heavenly Father, as we come before thee tonight, we thank you for all our many blessings tonight. We thank you for each and every one of his come tonight to worship you and praise you and give you the glory. We ask you now, Father, to bless this offer we're about to receive. And ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My lady got it. I think we're going to sing this one. Very relevant song for these times. I've read in the Bible uh -huh. how saints in the past. They held fast to God's promise with their faith put to test. And I know they had a hold of a powerful hand. Cause in the midst of the storm, when they should have gone down, they found strength. So let the flood waters roll, let the storm winds blow, and let everything hell has terrified so it may hinder me, break me down on my knees, but that's as far as I'll go. The next mountain I climb, I just might find sweet heaven to view. These dark, stormy days that we're living in, they're bound to shake us time and again. But the same grace He gave them, He has given you and me, and the same mighty hand that caused them to stand still gives me glory. So let the flood waters roll, let the storm winds blow, let everything hell has tear in my 
so it may hinder me bring me down on my knees but that's as far as i'll go not a battle's been lost on that old rugged cross i'm gonna reach heaven no matter the cost the next mountain i climb i just might find sweet heaven i'm sending you Heaven, no matter the cost, the next mountain I climb, I just might find sweet heavens in view. Heavens in Let everything hell has tear in my soul It may hinder me, bring me down on my knees But that's as far as I'll go Not a battle's been lost on that old rugged cross I'm gonna reach heaven no matter the cost The next mountain I climb I just might find sweet heavens in view, heavens in view. Well, Sherry has wrote a few songs for you. Group mission of love, and well, that love the one we do. So, mission, love. mission, oh love. <laughs> but she's had Brevis write a few songs for us, and I tell you what, she's a a good songwriter, I think. Uh, and I like this song. I want you to listen to it. It's called Mission of Love. the word of God in this land and for righteousness and truth we will boldly take a stand we'll never compromise no we won't back down though Satan tries to fight us and bring our spirits down we'll keep pressing on the word cause we're on a mission for the king we're on a mission of love we're out to share God's love to everyone we meet To tell of His grace to everyone we see We're on a mission of love for the King Now God told us to go and tell of His wonderful grace So we'll keep on singing until we meet Him face to face Lost in dying world in the night Cause we're on a mission A mission of love for the King We're on a mission of love for the King We're out to share God's love To everyone we meet To tell of His grace To everyone we see we're on a mission of love for the King. We're on a mission of love for the King. We're out to share God's love to everyone we meet. To tell of His grace to everyone we see. We're on a mission of love for the King. We're on a mission of love for the Yeah. You know what?
what? What, what was you going to say, Brother Jeff? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I want to say something. I was getting excited there. I, I want to say something about Brother Jeff, you know. You're an evangelist. You take your, you take your gospel all over the place. Some are called to be evangelists. Some are called to be pastors. Pastors have a flock to tend to. Your flock is a whole lot larger because you're an evangelist. Now, maybe I'm a little prejudiced, but I think that song, the chorus of that song, would make a good theme song for your radio. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what you do. Yeah. You're on a mission of love for the king just like we are. Yes, sir. Hey, man, I got that too. Good deal. Just pack, just pack that chorus in there and, and start it off. Every, All right. Do it every week. Okay. How about that? Back uh, several years ago, uh, which I think I've told this story before, but we was in Tennessee, and uh, he sat down at uh, yeah Tennessee, it was Tennessee, and uh, yeah, how'd you know, boy, I tell you what you did. <laughs> but uh, uh, he sat down and played this uh, chorus to this song, and, and I said, wow, we got to do something with this. And within a week's time, he had uh, rewrote uh, this this song, and uh, I just I love it tonight, and uh, yeah, love. It's, a, it's about love. You know, not only did uh, uh, Dolly Parton was the writer of the song, uh, she made it popular. Whitney Houston made it popular. So here's our version of I'll Always Love You. We, we were told that I was the first male lead to record this song. Yep, first male lead. I was not. If I should stay I could not find a way so I'll go but I want you to know I'll think of you each step of the way
Satan had his hold on me. Condemned to die, no question that I was guilty as could be. The judge declared my guilt would last forever and the day. Till Jesus raised his hands and prayed, but the mercy take his place. Well, the news is out. The news is out. And right the verdict said. And the verdict said. I've been forgiven by the blood set free from sin. I will no longer be a prisoner. Satan's ball and chain The news is out The verdict's in My soul's been saved Well, time and time again Old Satan tries to track me down yeah. Like a fugitive from some past sin And all forget about His evidence can hold me oh, When I take it back to face That day that he remembers well The day my past met grace Well, the news is out in the verdict said, the said I've been forgiven by the blood set free from sin I will no longer be a prisoner of Satan's ball and chain The news is out, the verdict said my soul's been saved I will no longer be a prisoner Satan's ball and chain The news is out The verdict's in My soul's been saved Been saved Yeah In the verdict said, the verdict said, I've been forgiven by the blood set free from sin. I will no longer be a prisoner of Satan's ball and chain. The news is out, the verdict said, my soul's been saved. I will no longer be a prisoner. Satan's falling chain The news is out The verdict said My soul's been saved Been saved oh, My soul's been saved Well, let's see here. You know I've got a request. I have to get to. What's your request? They requested me not to sing, but I'm going to sing anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. What are you going to sing? Something about holding an anchor, I believe. Oh, the anchor holds. Mike, did you sing that already? He sang the old man's dead. You just didn't want me to sing. He did not sung the old man's dead. Yeah. yeah. But he had some of the other one. That's what he's saying. Yeah, and uh, it was also requested for my wife to come up and sing one too. That's good too. Now I don't know, it's my mother in law. Are you coming up and singing one? You yeah. sing with yes, us? Yes, she is. You know, she is. I'm going to set a microphone for her right here. You're going to lower that, David. I'll probably put it down there. Well, come on up here. Come on up here, mother in law and my wife. Come on up here, honey. What are y'all working out back in the corner? They, they, they're working on something back here. It is kind of scary. They changed positions in the auditorium. Check, 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 check. Money, 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 money. 
Money order. Bless some more. Here, here's another one. I'm thankful to know tonight that when I leave here, that I have a roof over my head. And also have food on my table. And man, I'm thankful for that tonight, aren't you? I'm glad to know that we have a place we can go to. And if we leave here tonight, don't make it home. I've got a better place to go. Amen. Amen. Yes.
thankful that the Lord brought a, a good Christian wife into my family. Also, I'm thankful that he blessed me with a little baby girl. I have another one at home that's eight years old. I'm thankful for her tonight. I'm thankful tonight for my salvation. I'm thankful to know tonight if the Lord comes back that I know where I'd be going. Amen. I'm thankful for the preacher that came into the radio station and introduced my parents and myself to Jesus. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that the Lord knew what He was doing 
when he came into my life. I'm just so thankful for that. And I'm thankful to know that he's still going to use me. Even when I don't feel good, the Lord still uses me. Stay down. I'm glad to know tonight that, it, that he's Lord in the valley and he's Lord up on top of the hill. Amen. I'm glad to know that tonight. I'm just, I'm just thankful for him. What do you got on your mind over there? Oh. In times like these, you need a Savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure.
There has been beauty these eyes have seen. Brother Jeff here in just a minute, and uh, yeah, you look like he wasn't going to do nothing. No points right out there. Do it. Tell them people up in Eastern Kentucky about you. But anyway, it's been a joy being here tonight and lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's been a true joy, and uh, just just remember tonight's not over with yet. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, I hope you make your Savior tonight. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing this because y'all might have been sitting too long. Yeah. Never had a bad day, ever had a sad day, nothing was going to right. Then you give it all to you, lay it out, and you find your answer inside. Stand up, give your love, Jesus. Stand up, I dare to fly. Stand up, tell us all about it. Stand up and testify. Have you ever had a bird in trouble, pain and hurt, and load out with too much to bear? You thought you couldn't make it, then you let him take it, soon you find it, load disappear. Stand up, if you love Jesus, stand up, I didn't fly. Stand up, stand up, and testify.
Huh? All right, let's get Brother Jeff up here, Brother Jeff Carter, come on up here, Sister Timmy, stand up and testify real quick. I just want to thank the Lord for being his house, Brother Oscar, and thank the Lord for what he's done. Yes. And you know, I thank the Lord that he gives our wants as well as our needs. That's right. You know, I walked into a store when we were here recently, I saw this outfit, I wanted it so bad. And I said, Lord, I don't have enough money for this outfit, but oh, how I'd love to have this outfit. There was a woman behind me had a $56 card. She gave it to the cashier lady and said, give it to that woman right there. And you know, I got to walk out with an outfit. The whole outfit. And I praise the Lord that, you know, God lays it up on people's hearts sometimes. Yeah. To help you. Yeah, exactly. You know, we just got to put our faith in the Lord. Yeah, because once on. you put your faith in God and you trust the Lord yeah. with your whole entire heart, and not doubt, the Lord can give you anything. Yeah. I do mean anything. Yeah. I don't care what it is. He'll give your wants as well as your needs. Yeah. You just got to put your faith in the Lord. Amen. Nobody Amen. but Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you know, I'm telling you, uh, one day I was sitting right there with that lady right there sitting in this church. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you're going to get a check within three days. I said, Lord, where in the world am I going to get a check from? I don't know nobody going to give me no money. Honey, the next day I got a $1,000 check. Woo! Right. So Lord, tell me what my God can't do. If my God tells you he's going to do it, he's going to do it. Yeah. And I tell you what. You live for Him. You put your money where He tells you to do what, whatever God tells you to do. Give it to somebody or put it in a church. You better do it. Because if you don't, you're missing out your own blessings from the Lord. And I tell you what, I can't even start tonight counting my blessings that my God's gave me. I praise Him for everything He's gave me. I thank Him for the shoes on my feet. I praise Him for everything. And you know what? I claim my children, and I praise the Lord not because my children's coming in. You know, I have no doubt that my children's going to come in because that's how much faith I've got in the Lord because I know what He can do. When I was dying on my deathbed, they told me they gave me 50, 50% 50 chance of living. I said, I'll walk out of here. Honey, God brought me through one more time. I've been close to death five times. And let me tell you, God brought me through every one of them. They said, you ain't going to live when I had my first child. One of you going to die. I said, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. My daughter is coming home with me, and we're going to make it. Honey, God brought us both out. She's 25 years old. Nobody ain't going to tell me what my God can't do. Nobody's going to tell me what Jesus can't do. Because my God, He's real. And He's real in my heart. And He's real in my soul. And I praise Him what He's done for me. I give Him the glory. And when the woman gave me that gift card, I lifted my hands up and said, I thank you, Jesus. Right there. I didn't care who was around. I don't care. When Jesus does something, I give Him the praise wherever I may. Honey, with God, I don't care what He does. And when you're sick, praise Him. You get your healing from it. You know, I praise God. I walk in here with chest pains. I'm going home without no chest pains. I praise the Lord. I'm healed. I'm healed. And I praise the Lord for it. And I thank you for everything He's done for me. Everybody say praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Lord. Lord. Ain't God been in the midst tonight? Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, I can't complain about 2013 because we have seen more souls saved this year Amen. than I have in 47 years in the ministry. Amen. I'm serious, church. I can't complain. I was sitting there and I said, thank you, Lord, for them souls. If you looked at me two years ago, you would say, that man ought to be dead and done beer. 
But Jesus had something greater. Yes. Right. He had something planned. Amen. I had this Methodist lady come to the hospital and pray. Yes, she prayed in tongues. Just because you Pentecostal, don't you think the Methodists don't pray in tongues? Because they do. Yes. Amen. She began to pray in tongues and she spoke. In fact, that she's been down here, ain't she, Brother Oscar? Who is she? <laughs> He's done for God. <laughs> but anyhow, she said, the doctor said you're going to die, but God said you're going to live. Yeah. The next day, her husband came back to the hospital. He was over the Methodist. He was one of the highest leaders that you get in the Methodist church. And he said, i got a question I'm going to ask you. He said, are you a preacher? I said, yes, sir. I sure am. He said, I don't know how to tell you this or how to describe this to you. He said, have you heard of our little prayer center here in Madisonville? I said, well, yeah, I heard it. He said, we was praying and said, you came before us in vision. And said, God said, you're going to go forth. Yes. And the end time message is going to be delivered. And His people is going to be set free by the power of God. I said, thank you, Jesus. I accept it. And never where we've been, my wife can tell you, we've seen the power of God move. Amen. I'm not talking about this little power that people feel at one serves. I'm talking about the power of God that people get drunk, that they stay drunk, and they have to carry them to the car drunk. <laughs> I've seen the blinded eyes open. I've seen people walk that people said wouldn't walk before. It's kind of God I'm serving. So I can say 2013 has been good. It's been awesome. If He calls me home in the next five minutes, my eyes are shut, I'll see Jesus. It'll be that quick. And I say, I've done what you told me to do. I told the church I was at recently, and I'm, I'm breaking down. I'm going to try to hurry up. I know pastor might have something to say before midnight. I said, I'm a blood ham. And I'm a Holy Ghost blood ham. And I'm after that devil. And he better look out because here I come. I done learned the devil's tricks. I done learned all his uh, little uh, fancy offices that he holds and the position that he holds. I done learned that. See, I got a little wiser in my last days. I know who can handle him and spank him well. And that's Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm serving a God that cannot fail. Nope. I'm serving a God that what He said He'll do, He'll do. That's right. yes, he will. I take His word of what He said. Yes. If He said that He saves us, He fills us with the Holy Spirit, He meant what He said. Yes. But now this is going to get a lot of us. We think because that we can... I believe in speaking in tongues. Don't you go around and say, Brother Carter said it's wrong to speak in tongues, lie speaking in tongues. Amen. Probably you can't count them on toes and fingers. But we try to use tongue as far as we get. The Pentecost as far as they get. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. He said, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yeah. 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 Did He say you're going to stop there? No. He said, you're going to be witness unto me, both in Judea and Samaritan and the other most part of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we need to be, church? Out 
they're getting souls. Yeah. Yeah, right. He that winning souls is wise. God spoke to me and I, you can mark it down in your book. 2014 is coming in. You're going to see more souls harvest than you ever yeah. seen before. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see more souls filled with the Spirit yeah. than you've never yeah. seen before. Yeah. You're going to see the old saints of God That's begin right. to come alive yeah. in the Spirit yeah. and in the anointing yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I'm telling you, church, amen, He's getting the church ready yeah. without a spot, without a blemish, or any such of a thing. He's not coming back after a crippled church. Nope. No, he's not. A church that's lame. He's coming back after a church that's whole. Yeah. And he's looking for the blessed hope and appearance of his coming. Yeah, Amen. Come on, brother. Come on. Mark it down, 2014. There's going to be souls. Somebody said, well, I'm about to panic. Oh, my money's running out. What are we going to do? We don't get no social security. What are we going to do? We don't get this and we don't get that. You're going to depend on Jesus. Amen. 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 He'll make that way where it's seeming not to be a way. Listen, I'm going to tell you, the church has kept the elder up and the Word of God. That's where it's supposed to be. And the church deviated from it. Yes, it did. Well, that's another time of another day. 2014. It's going to be many souls. It's going to be harvest. Yes. Yes. And if I'm just one out there, just get the grain, I want to be the one of them. I want to be right in it. Amen. Getting souls. Amen. I'm telling you, I ain't got time for gossip. I ain't got time for confusion. Amen. I, I come on business for the king. Amen. The word of God said. In the last day, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Young man shall dream dreams. Old man shall see vision. And upon your servant and upon your man, I'm going to pour out my spirit, saith the Lord. Yeah. Aren't we in the last days? Yep. The church shouldn't be scared. The church ought to be looking up. Amen. 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 Yes. It's coming. Looking down at our nose. It's coming back. And say, well, I know I heard it preached 50 years ago. He's coming. He's coming. But He's coming anyhow. He's coming. Yeah. Amen. He said, that same Jesus. He said, while you Galileans gaze up in heaven, this same Jesus taken up in light matter you see going to heaven shall come again. And receive on yourself that where you are, there he's going to be also. Church, I'm telling you, we get ready to go to union. We get ready to go, amen. Hallelujah, where the righteous go. Where there be no dying, where there be no sickness. Amen. Wherever tears is going to be wiped away. Amen. All the problems that you may be facing down here, there will be no problems in heaven. No problems. No problems. No problems. No problems. Brother Oscar told me about Brother Brian. I called him back in September. You know, I always open my mouth and get in trouble. Don't you laugh. <laughs> Usually I talk to my wife before making a move. That day, Brian began to give me the schedules and he told me five days my eyes, kajing, kajing. I said, boy, I can get the gospel out that way. <laughs> Give me 15 minutes and I can get the gospel out. Amen! Amen. Amen. We've been doing it. We had a 95-year-old man got saved. Her, my wife, and I'm not interpreter when she gets in that language that I can't interpret. I ain't. I'm sorry if God gives this to me, I can do it, but you know, I don't know all them languages. <laughs> but this gentleman, he was in World War II and they took a training how to talk to the Germans. 
And he heard her speak in Germany. <coughs> yes, sir. Hmm. He said, if that's real, I want what that lady's got. Right. <laughs> he got down on his knees there in California, Brother Oscar, and gave his heart to Jesus. God filled him with the Holy Spirit. He came up a changed man. Right. <laughs> he said, I'm different. It's just something about when you get saved, you're different. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. Go for second. You know, I still was a sinner. I may not have done like some people did. Went out and drank. I don't know how it is to do that kind of stuff, brother. I was saved as a very young man. But I wouldn't trade a mob. Mm -hmm. That I travel for the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. No more. I don't regret the time mm -hmm. that I labored for the Lord mm -hmm. because I counted an honor yes. because He saved the wretch like me. Mm -hmm. I once was lost, yes. but now I'm found. Yes. I'm saved yes. by His grace. Yes. And through the blood of Jesus Christ Amen. that will cleanse you from all unfiltheredness of the flesh and of the spirit, what the Amen. scripture says. Yep. About unclean spirits. There's people got unclean spirits. The pastor said, I don't know where's the pastor. He might be a evangelist. If I get it wrong, you hit me on the head when I go out the door. Hey, we're about to head. But I found, I mean, this pastor asked too, the biggest difficulty that you can have begins at home in the word of faith. Come on, church. I know it's quiet. Somebody comes in and gets saved and they want to drag up what they've done in the past. Until they stoned them to death. Hey, I'm not telling the truth. They stoned them to death. I like what they sung tonight. If Jesus forgives you, He washes your sins away. Never to be remitted no more. When it's covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, He cleansed you. He's made you whole. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. From all sin. All the devil come by. He said, You didn't get it. You didn't get it. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Said devil, I was there when I happened. And I know that it's weird. Because I can feel it in my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. What the Lord gives me the world. Didn't give it to me. The world ain't going to take it away. Amen. 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 The joy that I got, the world didn't give it to me. And honey, they ain't going to take it away. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. I said the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Am I going too long, Pastor? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's going to say that. <laughs> joy. When I, do, when I do this, yeah. when I do this, well, you're surprised when I, when I go flip it over, it cuts me off. Yeah. <laughs> I said, My time's gone, it's gone. <laughs> so I got a routine on it, I hear it, I know it's gone. But I believe 2014, church, you hang on. You're going to see souls one right here in this church. Amen. God's going to raise some little Davids up. We had too many. We got too many giants in the church now. We got too many chiefs in the church now. God's going to, have to rise up some people that's on fire for Him. That's going to do the work that He sent to do. Amen. He said, "Go in all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. Him that believe in His baptism shall be saved, and he that believe in not shall be damned." I know we take it literally and we say, "Well." Brother, if you don't go to the Baptist tonight, you do. No, if you ain't covered by the blood of the Lamb, you do. Why to cause a man or woman not to make heaven her home? 
Not being covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Though I believe in the Holy Spirit and I believe in speaking in tongues. But all that, if I do not got what God intends me to do, I'm trying to show the love of God. When's the last time you witnessed to your neighbor and said, Come go to church with me tonight? What I have and they wouldn't go. Don't give up. Keep at them. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. This little lady in Arkansas, and I'm fixing to close, give to the pastor because he might have something to add on or have something to say. She kept laying his clothes out. He said, I'm not going to church. I'm not going down to them holy rollers. One night he decided to go to church. And he surprised his wife walked in. Guess what? Something got a hold oh, of him. Man. It got into his feet. It got into his hand. Oh, praise God. Something got a hold of him. I'll tell you what, boy, that's something when Jesus gets a hope of you. Uh, he'll change you. Uh, he'll wipe that slate as clean. Clean, clean, clean. Yes, He will. You know, it amazes me that God forgives, but people don't. Amen. Amen. You ever know what Yep. Amen. And they'll look at you and you'll say, well, you done that sin. I know they'll be back out fornicating or they'll be... Having their eye on somebody in the church. Mm -hmm. Then we got those that looks at somebody that's been married before, Brother Oscar, and say, Well, they can't do this for God. They can't do it for God. I like them when they become God's. Wanting mm -hmm. to set this one in place and that in place. Yeah. Until that, and he knew that. Yeah. When God calls a man or a woman, Leave your hands off of them. Amen. Let them work. Let them labor. Come on. Amen. Amen. If they don't belong to you, they belong to God. Amen. Right. If they do it wrong, God will get them. That's right. God will chastise them. Amen. So Maurice called and said, Did you know what you think about this? What you think about it? I said, Look, I love you, but I ain't got time to hear this mess. I said, if you're angry with this party, you need to go to them and talk to them. Right. And on and out yourself. Yeah. And I, I, I firmly believe if people, when they, if they still get mad at their pastors, if they get mad at them, they go to them and talk to them. They can sit down and read them together. That's right. Hello? That's, right. That's Hello. exactly right. Hey, I'm not putting my hand against no pastor. Mm -hmm. You can't That's give me all the money in your purse to say, well, be against Brother Oscar, be against this one down here. I'm not going to do it. Mm. I might not agree with everything they say, but I'm going to pray for them because God will get them if they do it wrong. Amen. I believe Brother Oscar is a fine man of God. I'm tickled deaf. He's got musicians. Behave. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm proud to see him sitting back there playing tonight, brother. I said, God, answer that prayer. We pray for him. He was just coming. They came in. Yeah. And I'm tickled. I believe you got to find pastor. Back him. Amen. That's right. Pray for us as we go on the road, traveling. Mm -hmm. Because they don't tell them where this board. I'll be a full morning. God speaks to me and tell me to go. I'm just as silly as pick up and go. Amen. Amen. So where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There's liberty and freedom. God bless you. Pastor Church. We've got about five minutes before the twelve o'clock. You got three. Three minutes. Three minutes? Alright. You know, tonight in New York City, they're waiting for the big ball to drop. Probably three, maybe four million people. Yes. We're staying there to watch it go down. I'm looking for something to come down. Amen. Yes. I would love to see it in the year of 2013. And I'm not giving up yet. Amen. i got three minutes. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
We're going to pray this whole year out. Yes. And we're going to pray the new year in. Yes. I want everybody to stand at your feet. I want you to come to this altar. I want everybody to come into this altar tonight. I know there's everybody here tonight that's got lost loved ones. You got lost loved ones that uh, that you would like to see saved. You know, there's a lot that we can pray for. Let's pray for the year of 2014. Let's pray that the Lord will come into this place with the abundance of His, of His blessings. Let's everybody gather in. Let's everybody gather in here. And we're going to pray the old, old year out. Somebody give me the time. Give me the time. Four, three, four. Somebody give me the time. One minute. We got one minute. Let's gather in here. And let's, uh, i tell you what let's do right now. Let's just begin to pray. And let's pray this old year out. And pray the new year in right now. Almighty God, Father, as we come before you tonight, Lord, God, we see this last year that's going out. God, we know that in time is what we marked our distance with, Lord. And God, we mark in this distance tonight, Lord, the year of 2013, Lord. God, we pray tonight that you will come in this year. But if you don't, Lord, we want to work for you in the year of 2014. I pray tonight, God, that you will bless everybody that's in this building, Lord. God, draw your church together tonight. Draw us together as your children, Lord. God, let us live for you, I pray. Almighty oh, God, touch my prayer tonight, Lord. Give us the strength that we need. And God, is this your name? God, give us another year, I pray. If not, God, you come and bring us home. And we'll give you the glory, Lord. Almighty oh, God, we pray. Touch tonight, Lord Jesus. God, lift us up, I pray. Oh, God, to give us the strength to be able to carry on, Lord. God, give us what we need. God, give us the strength that we need. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I pray that you will move. God, pray that you will move in 2014. God, we pray that you will 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 pray We left the old year by the clock. We look in town to the year of 2014. Now listen to what I've got to tell you. Remember that when you write your checks. Whenever that Jesus comes back, time shall be no more. Hallelujah. I'm going to move into a time, not a time. I'm going to move into eternity. Yes. We won't need a clock. Amen. Amen. There won't be no courthouses in heaven with court with clock on. Amen. That's right. We're not going to need. It. Come on, man. We're not going to need a hospital. We won't have to call and say send out the emergency. Amen. I'm not going to worry about my car breaking down because I'm not going to have one. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm not going to worry about nothing. But I'm going to be in the presence Amen. of the Almighty yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Won't that be something? No more time. No more worries. No nothing but just live and be in perfect peace forever. Hallelujah. Won't that be something? Hallelujah. I wish everybody here a, a new year. I wish the greatest to you. I hope that everybody here has the greatest blessings from God that you've ever received in the year of 2014. I want you guys to come and sing one more song. And then we're, if we're, we're not going to hold you any longer than that. But if the, if the Spirit of the Lord begins to move, then it, we may hold you again. But y'all just, if y'all can sing one more song, Lord, then Oh, 